Hello, my name is Michael Driscoll, and in this tutorial, you will be learning a kind of an introductory tutorial on Report Lab. And uh, Report Lab is a really nice uh, library for creating PDFs in Python. Uh, you can get Report Lab by going to reportlab.com, and I believe it's also on PyPy. Uh, to install Report Lab, you just uh, pip install Report Lab or Python -m pip install uh, Report Lab. And it lets you do all kinds of different forms. You can make it pretty much as complicated as you want or as generic as you want. Uh, they have lots of different examples on their website. Um, Report Lab has two different versions. It has an open sor source version and a commercial version. You can make pretty much anything that you want using the open source version. I've never needed the commercial for anything. However, there are some nice features in the commercial version. Um, they have a markup language that called RML that you could use. But again, I've never used it, and you really don't need to, to know how to use it right now. Anyway, let's create a little kind of like home, hello world type thing with Report Lab. So after you have it installed, you can import it. And normally, um, you, there's, like, there's like two different ways to use it. So there's the canvas method, which is the low-level way to draw um, strings and uh, polygons and images onto the canvas. And the canvas, in this case, is uh, the PDF itself. So you can kind of think of it as like a draw a place that you like draw a picture. In this case, we're going to draw you know text or images or whatever. And then when we save it, it'll become a PDF. So anyway, the canvas is basically how you would always start out. That's how I always started out when I was first learning it anyway. So let's say you want to do canvas, there's a canvas class. It has all kinds of um, parameters you can pass to it, but the only required one is where to save your PDF. So let's do hello PDF. And then we'll just do that. And to, to add some string, you can do draw centered string, uh, draw aligned. I usually just do draw string. Now here you can tell your uh, string where to draw on the page. By default, um, Report Lab's origin on, on the page will be the bottom left of the page. Most people don't start reading at the bottom left, so you have to take that into account. So let's say we want to start uh, like 60 points from the left and 750 from the bottom. You kind of get a feel for this after you've done Report Lab for a little bit. You'll start to realize what your limits are. So we'll just uh, print that string out to it, and then we'll save it so we can see how it looks. All right, we'll call this hello, and then we'll run it. There won't be any real output, but there will be a hello PDF. And you can see it put it on there as a welcome to Report Lab. So that was easy, that's cool, but um, what's not obvious is that Report Lab defaults all of its um, PDFs to an A4 layout. So if you're used to using the A4 uh, page size, that's fine, but you know if you're in America, you're probably going to want to use the letter size. So let's uh, do some more. Let's go ahead and change this a little bit. And we'll change it to use a different page size. Uh, you can import letter. Okay, let's go ahead and grab that quick. Make this text a little bit bigger too while we're at it. Let's put this down here. And let's see what this is. Okay, so a letter size is 612 by 792. And this measurement is in points. So um, there are 72 points in an inch. If that kind of helps you visualize what this means. So the 72 point, you know, eight and a half by 11 is, you know, 792 points. Or I mean 612 points by 792 points. Anyway, that's kind of how that works. I just want to make mention of that. So let's uh, change our page size to letter. And let's do something a little bit different this time. So if we want, we can kind of play around with uh, the fonts a little bit. You can set your font to something else. 
Um, Report Lab comes with a lot of the default fonts like Helvetica, Time Roman, uh, Courier, and a couple of others. You can also use true type fonts, but you'd have to use a slightly different method than set font to use true type. I'm not going to go over fonts in this particular tutorial, but uh, this is how you'd set one of the default. I think I believe there's eight fonts you can choose from in Report Lab. So this is one of the default ones. We'll bump it up to 12 points. And then we'll draw this. And then I think we'll just change this to uh, Courier, if I remember how to spell it. And we'll set this one to 14. Let's grab that. And we'll drop, drop it 30 down. Let's try running that and see what we get. Oops. There we go. So the top one is Helvetica and the bottom one is Courier. Um, that didn't change the font as much as I thought it would. So let's go ahead and bump it up to 24 point and see if it, how much bigger we can make it. There we go. That looks, that looks more uh, drastically different. Okay, so as we mentioned, this is uh, 60 points from the left and 700 some from the bottom. Okay. You know, just drawing strings is kind of boring. So let's go ahead and draw some lines to make it a little bit more interesting. So let's say you want to draw just a plain old line. You can do my canvas dot line. And then you need to start the x, y coordinate for where the line starts and where it ends. So let's see, we want 500 from the bottom and I don't know. I mean 500 from, yeah, let's, let's think about this. Let's put it 60 from, from the left, uh, 735 from the bottom, something like that. We can kind of just kind of, kind of fake it a little bit. So starts on the left, we want to go to the right. So that means, uh, let's go 160 over and we'll do 735 again. What this will draw is a horizontal line starting at uh, 60 and going to 160 and it's going to be at, at horizontal uh, point at 735. Um, that, that should work for what we want to do. Let's go back to this one and open that up. And we just crossed out welcome. That wasn't exactly what I wanted to do. So you can kind of mess around with your numbers a little bit. I'll try bumping it down 10 points and see if that gets us to underline welcome instead of, instead of going through it. Um, I think I forgot to close that. There we go. So now we're underlining it. If you want to play around with this, we could uh, we could try making this to like 360 and see if we can underline the whole thing. Let's close that and reopen. There, we got close. So that that's how you like draw a line with um, Report Lab. So that's that's pretty simple. Um, Report Lab's Canvas also lets you draw polygons though. So I want to show that before we before we. Um, close out of this particular video. In a future video, I'll go over fonts in more detail just so you all can see how that works. But let's go ahead and try doing some, uh, some shapes. So let's see, let's do my canvas. You have a bunch of different ones you can choose from. This is how you do a rectangle. So let's say we want to do 740. So this is going to start on the left no, 740 from the right, uh, 10 points from the right to 740, and then you tell it the index. Well, let's, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and make it show us what, what we want to know. Okay, so you start start with is x y, and then you give it the width and height. Okay, so we'll say start at 6, 7 640, and let's make it 100 by 80. And we'll save that. Open up our PDF again. And we gotta actually open it up. Okay, so I guessed wrong and ended up drawing it partially off screen. So let's see, let's drop this down to 700 and we'll bump it over to the left a little bit more and we'll run it again. 
And we'll just reopen this silly thing. There we go. Now we have our box, our rectangle. Now, of course, we can do other shapes than just rectangles with uh, Report Lab. You can do uh, ellipses, wedges, circles. Let's do a circle. So a circle, you 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 decide on the point on the center point, and then you uh, set the radius. You can also tell it uh, what kind of uh, fill you want it to be. So you, that, that'll fill in the circle with whatever color you have set currently. And uh, I believe stroke will set whether you draw the outline or not. So let's see. So that was at 20. Let's try 100 from the left and 700 from the bottom. And we'll make the radius 100. Let's set fill to one so it gets filled in. And now when we run this, we should end up with a nice circle added to our PDF. Whoops. Now we just wrote over the top of the other one. So that wasn't quite what I wanted to do. Let's try bumping this over to the left a little bit more. There we go. Now it's bumped over where I want it. 100 seems to be a little too big, so I'll drop it down just a smidge. There we go. Now it's about what we'd like it to be. Um, let's see if we can mess with the colors a little bit. See if I remember how to do that. Let's see. We can set dash. Let's set the fill color to something else. Um, I honestly don't recall what this takes for a color. Let's see if it's a CMYK. Yes, okay, so, so it does accept strings. You can you can set colors in, in Report Lab several different ways using CMYK, uh, RGB values. Um, we are going to try just doing green and see if that works without having to go look up the documentation and see if I got this right. Okay, so I didn't complain about that, so that's good. Let's go back over here. There we go. So now we have a green circle. Um, you can play around with Report Lab and create all kinds of different shapes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and copy from some other code that, that I have so you can see some of the other shapes that we can do. Um, so I don't have to write it all out again. Let's go back over here. I'm going to leave that fill color the same and I'll put this other code in here. Kind of do a demo. So what this is going to do is we're going to set the stroke color which is the, the, the outline color. And this one is using RGB so between 0 and 1 is for our red, green, and blue. Then we draw a rectangle, an ellipse, a wedge, and a circle. And the ellipse is going to be filled, and I don't think anything else will be by default. Let's go ahead and reopen that. All right, so this time, again, we have the rectangle kind of out of the page. But now we have an ellipse, and a wedge, and a circle. And it's kind of hard to see on the screen, but the color is green because we set um, we set our RGB values. I guess that's kind of a green color too. Let's make this blue so it's not the same. I didn't realize I was doing the same color basically. There we go. So now we have a green outline and a blue uh, fill value. Anyway, you can, you can do lots of different things with uh, Report Lab. This is just kind of a taste of what you can do with it. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments or send me an email through my blog. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.